Hey babes and dudes, I'm going to do a reaction video to Jordan Peterson's upload of advice to men in their 20s, considering I just passed my 20s and I got to experience an amazing time in the 2010s with the advent of the internet, being able to be mobile and travel. I was able to pursue several different careers. I just had an excellent time. And I say that with a sense of guilt, kind of, because I talk to so many young people that are graduating college into a job market equivalent of the Great Depression, essentially, with COVID. So I really like his advice, but I have one major complaint with it, which I'll get to later on, that is not really grounded in reality or science. It's, it, if all were accordingly well in the world, uh, especially during his time period, I would say that would be accurate, but I'll get to that in a moment. So I'm just going to play, play it. And again, like I said, I've, I've had an incredible 20s. It was so good that I could die tomorrow and I'm good with it. Like I'm good with the life I've had. It was, it was so, at, at several careers, um, many opportunities, I took on responsibility. Uh, I, I agree with a lot of his advice, but I have, I have one major complaint, which I'll get to. So I'm just going to play through it and see what he says. What advice do you have for a young man in his 20s? Make a plan. Look at what you're interested in. Get disciplined about something. Allow for the possibility that you have something important to contribute to the world and that the world would be a lesser place without that contribution. Don't be afraid of taking... Absolutely. Get disciplined. Pick a field of study. For me, it was eye care and specifically optometry and then ophthalmology and I felt useful and I was able to learn all the mechanisms of the eyes, uh, the anatomy and and just how we process the world around us as far as visually and at one point I was able, even able to give a lecture at Southern Methodist University to a class of photography students about the optics of the eye and I think that it made the world a less place, at least I feel that way. So whether it's lucrative or not, I mean, wages have been stagnant the past 30 years. It was rewarding. So absolutely pick what, because I had an interest in photography. So I thought, well, how does the eye work? Okay, well now how can I take that skill and help other, pe that interest and help other people with it? And for you, it might be like, I don't know, some other form of art or m mechanical engineering, or you're curious about something. Make that into a skill that can be useful to others. I agree with them on responsibility you're so it's where you find what sustains you in your life you can take on too much responsibility you you have to be cautious in that regard but that's a less common problem than not taking on enough a lot of the things that people regard as absolutely don't put too much weight on your shoulders i've been there a few times taking on multiple projects thinking that i could work during the day and then pursue a creative endeavor at night and then and then maybe a relationship I mean you just have too much responsibility and I think this is a problem mainly for women because they have to juggle as he says mo commonly a career and having children but I'm going to X that out in a moment and keep going on but but know your limits I don't, I don't think I don't think you can't go too far in doing rewarding and dopamogenic activities traps are actually the means to their life you know often young people are afraid of commitment for example in the context of a romantic relationship and because they feel that that's going to interfere with their pursuit of something more valuable but that's just not the case is you're not going to find something more valuable in your life than a committed relationship with someone that you love that sustains itself across time and that in all likelihood produces children that's life and there may be people for whom... No. I mean, yes, but no. Relationships are primo. That's where it's at. I totally agree. I look back at all my ex-relationships with mostly great fondness. It, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have been inspired as I was without them. However, let's talk about that children thing, okay? I mean, as you would have expected, what I have a major problem with that, okay? The best analog for the climate that we're headed into, and this is scientifically peer-reviewed 
literature backed up all behind it is the Pliocene era, and we're moving at a rate 800,000 times faster than any other interglacial period in history. So, although yes, you, can, you should have a partner that sustains you, and that does fill you up with love, do not, do not rear children, because they will face a world that is two to three degrees warmer, and in the Pliocene, there was woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers roaming the planet. It was mostly rolling plains, hot Saharan desert, and put that on top of the food deprivation, um, battle wars over resources and food, you are subjecting this child to a horrendous, terrible future. Okay, no question about it. The science is clear. So, yes, family must be a very rewarding thing, but exercise caution and discipline in knowing that you're subjecting another life force, another life being, again, I didn't have kids, and I had multiple chances, to a terrifying world, okay? I'm scared about where we're headed. Not scared, yeah, I'm scared. Because in 10, 15 years, it's gonna get ugly. And how are you gonna feed your kid? Well, are you gonna feed him ramen every day? No. Avoiding that is the better route, but those people are very rare, and you need a real reason to assume that you're one of those people. And hopefully for you, you're not. Avoiding it for everybody. Everybody should avoid it. Don't have kids, okay? Find a partner. Love is great. Do not have kids. And that's the, all the reason you need is that we are headed into the Pliocene climate, into a, a, a hothouse earth with tipping points going off and making it worse by the year. Um, you know, I've had a very good career, a very meaningful career in multiple dimensions, and it's still been the case for me that the most important part of my life has been my intimate relationship with my wife and my and my family. So don't be afraid of that, or be afraid of it, but don't let that stop you from, from pursuing it. Well, good. Relationships, I mean, clearly he pays, places a lot of emphasis and value on relationships, as you should. And the older I'm getting, as I've passed my 20s, I realize the importance of people. And I'm very particular about who I allow in my inner circle and who I allow to convene with me on a daily basis. It's, a, it's important to build a tribe, a community. But let me just put an X nay on the kids A, okay? I hope, I hope you're able to learn from something from this. Take responsibility, work hard, pursue your interests, find meaning in your life, all go fine and dandy. Don't have kids, okay? Thanks for watching.